Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Frank, audio engineer at Logio Studios. Today I'm going to talk about mixing, mixing the normal way, the usual way, the way you know. We're not going to do anything on concepts, we're not going to do anything on principles um, of compression and EQs and all that, but we just want to see what works, I mean, what sounds good to the ear. In the course of the, the, the tutorial, I'll be breaking to explain to you why I do um, some of the things I do. And then going forward, I'll come back to share with you the basics, what goes into the actual, I mean, the fundamentals, and they will build on these blocks to achieve what we want to achieve in terms of mixing. Um, we are going to do onboard mixing. We are going to do software or DAW mixing as well. For this tutorial, I'm using Studio One Professional. Um, my board is Studio Live 16.4.2. Uh, um, the, the tracks I'm going to use were recorded um, exactly here in this studio. So enjoy. So I have a, I have a, I have a personal uh, secret when it comes to EQ. I, I do two by two. Two by two. I mean, I cut two and I boost two. So for every instrument, uh, let's let's say the drums, um, the volumes of resonates. I mean, it sounds better at certain frequencies and sounds bad at other frequencies. Now we look out for the bad ones and then we cut them. Look out for the good ones and then we boost them. But you can't go all out boosting and cutting. So I just choose two of them. I will boost the two good ones I like and cut the two bad ones I, I mean I don't like. So basically, that's one basic thing I like to do when it comes to EQ. One of the things I want to talk about is that um, you can't you can't have bad files and really expect to have good output. Well, it's, it's workable, but then again, it's, it's advisable really to work on very good recordings in that you get very good files and then really working on it, you are assured of good end. And that's what makes you a good engineer. The ability to transform the raw stuff into very good stuff that are very pleasing and very pretty. To to. So I'm going to start with the raw files and. The rough files I have here is actually good. As I said, it was recorded live here in this studio, live day. So.
So after going through all my techniques, this is how the instruments sound now on the board. Okay, so I'm going to take them one by one and then I'll join everything for you to enjoy. Stay tuned. Okay. So, we'll start with the kick. So this is how the kick sounds now. I mean, very fine, very gated, no bleeds in it. See the hi hat, the overhead. Um, okay, so let me let me add a bit of um, more of the reverbs. Let me just open it a bit. bit. So this is the hi hat now, together with the overheads. I told you I'm limited in channel, so. I've managed to compress, uh, sort of not, not compress, uh, bring everything together into 16 channels. Okay, now the, the, this is the snare now. Very nice. You can, you can hear the reverberation. It's also very, very, okay. You get it? Very nice. The bottom snare. It, it adds that uh, at the end. Okay. Alright. So I'm sure the tom will play. You get it. Okay. So this is my loose. Okay. Nice loops here. Okay, so my base. Just put my base here and see. Very nice. You hear every note. So it's not like um, boom, 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 boom. But you're able to distinctly hear each note. Okay, so my piano. Okay, my guitars. I'm gonna do I'm gonna just play everything um, I think the whole of the song just enjoy it uh, catch you again later
Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed yourself. Subscribe and click the bell icon to get notification anytime I post new videos. God bless.